The fight over fluoride, Health and Human Services Secretary Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is pushing to change CDC guidance. That's right. He's supporting a new law in Utah that bans fluoride from public water and is encouraging other states to follow that lead. 7 News Detroit reporter Carly Petrus is highlighting differing views in our area. We all drink water to survive, but whether we get it from the faucet or a bottle, what's allowed inside our water may soon change. Fluoride's been added to our drinking water for decades, but soon the mineral could be dumped. And that's all because of RFK Jr. And the era of fluoridated, fluoridated toothpastes and mouthwashes, it makes no sense to have fluoride in our water. Citing health risks, the Health and Human Services Secretary is urging the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, to stop recommending it. A U.S. Environmental Protection Agency Administrator, Lee Zeldin, says it's the EPA that sets the limits on what's allowed in our water. So what EPA is going to do is go back and look at these studies that have come out since July of 2024, and we're prepared to act based on these science. We went through the CDC's database to see what local communities add fluoride to their water. Five water systems in Macomb County do not add fluoride, including Mount Clemens and Romeo. 71 out of 121 water systems in Oakland County do not add it. That includes Rochester, Oxford, White Lake Township, and Waterford Township. And in Wayne County, the database shows fluoride is added to all water systems in the county. And some residents there are split on RFK Jr.'s recommendation. Fluoride for sure, we, we try to remove it from our toothpaste, our deodorant. Ronnie Cash believes removing fluoride from our water could be a good thing. I have two kids, Roman and Eli, and I tell them every day, um, and I teach them young, uh, no fluoride in your toothpaste, no fluoride in your water. Um, and they, they ask me why all the time, and I tell them because that it's very toxic for your body. Thomas Humphrey says he's waiting for more information to come out, but mentions he only drinks water from a filter or a bottle. I just feel better doing it that way. And Jacob Curser says he's not too worried about fluoride. I grew up with fluoride treatments as a child. I have fluoride in my toothpaste. Um, you know, it's, it's not a huge concern to me at this time. The American Dental Association says fluoride is necessary for good oral health, calling the administration's theories a myth, saying the growing distrust of credible time-tested evidence-based science is disheartening. Carly Petrus, 7 News, Detroit.